Uh, point of order, Rosie Cooper. Thank you, Mr Speaker. May I crave your indulgence? With only sentencing left, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition and every single member of this House for the kindness they've shown me over the last two difficult years. I'd also like to thank Robbie Mullins and Hope Not Hate because... Without their actions, I might not be here. I would also like to thank the parliamentary authorities, um, Plate, Lancashire and Merseyside Police, and my new family friends, that's the National and um, Lancashire Counter-Terrorism Unit, and thank them all for protecting, continuing to protect me. Um, beyond thanking so many kind people, Mr Speaker, I'd like to make a serious point. I was to be murdered to send a message to the state, to send a message to this place. Members of this House are regularly abused and attacked. Our freedoms, our way of life, our democracy is under threat and we must do our utmost to defend it. And whilst the Home Secretary is in his place, perhaps I might ask him to consider the Diplock process for terrorist trials. I hope I I think the reaction, the spontaneous reaction on both sides of the chamber, joined in by the Leader of the House and other colleagues, speaks volumes. And I hope that I speak on behalf of the House in saying that we have the most enormous respect and admiration for the Honourable Lady. She has displayed courage and fortitude of which many people, and probably most of us, can only dream. In the most harrowing of circumstances, faced with an explicit and very real threat to her life from neo-Nazis, she has not wilted for a second. She has defended her own rights, she's defended the rights of her constituents, she's defended the rights of all of her colleagues, and she's defended the rights of Parliament as an institution. By this sort of poisonous, fascistic bile, we will not be cowed. And the sooner the purveyors of hate, of fascism, of Nazism, of a death cult, realise that, the better. I salute the Honourable Lady, and I know others will do so too, led, I think, by the Leader... Yes, of course I will come to the Honourable Gentleman, but led, I think, by the Leader of the House. Mr Speaker, I just want to pay on behalf of the Government benches tribute to the Honourable Lady for her courage in facing this down, and we all absolutely stand with her. Warmly thank the Leader for for what she's said, which I think speaks for us all. But the Home Secretary is indicating a willingness to take part. Please, the Home Secretary. Mr Speaker, take this opportunity to to thank the Honourable Lady for what she's just said. She has the support of this whole House and beyond, and we all absolutely stand with every word that she's just shared with the House. Thank you. The Leader of the Opposition, point of order, Jeremy Corbyn. Mr Speaker, can I thank the Honourable Member for the brilliant statement she's made today, for the incredible fortitude with which she stood up against this appalling threat. And thank you, Mr Speaker, for your very clear declaration. We will not tolerate fascism and Nazism in our society. We will stand up for the pluralistic, multicultural, multi-ethnic Britain that we're all, I believe, very proud of. Thank you.